Arise from your Freaking grave. Freaking altered beast. Now you can see our little beast guy here in the little wolf form. This is him how he looks in the box. I played this game many times at Chuck E. Cheese when I was a kid. And I thought it was pretty cool. Playing as a dog, not so much. <laughs> but here, yeah, you can see how he looks right here. Got the beast guy, look at him. All muscular, I love it. But as you see, he's also a little baby. He's a little baby figure. You are so small! It's funny to me! Little baby guy. And this is him on the side right here. Does look cool though. Look at that. He look cool. Look at that. Got a little spirit orb thing there to get his oh, little power oh. up going. And that's from video games. You know, remember guys? Remember? Remember the little, little $10 figure? The little, little, little $10 baby figure? So uh, you, know, you got that. And uh, if y'all looking for him, you know, that's a little barcode there if you want to try to hunt him down. It's a local Walmart, I believe these are exclusive to them only. So, well, that's that pretty much, you know. Werewolf, you know, werewolf, you know. Not confusing with the little wolf child from like Sega CD or something like that, but there you go. So, let's get him out of the box and let's play. So, here's the werewolf out of the packaging. Now, the sculpt itself, I love the sculpt. It looks cool. I love these little fur right and like blades and stuff. That is awesome, right? So the thing is, some of the stuff gets in the way of his articulation. And like, you see like his neck thing here, right, right there. Cause like he can go up a little bit, just not too much. And you see, that's far as he goes down. He goes down like that. That's it. So not a lot of range. But you can spin it all around if you like. So you can move the torso really good. Still can't move under here, so you can't move that at all. You know, it looks like you can, but you cannot. It is definitely glued on there. They got bicep swivel. You can bend like they can T-pose. Double jointed elbows, you know. You got articulation at the wrist there. You can see that right there moving at the wrist. You can swivel the wrist if you like. So. He does the splits really good. Look at that. He does the splits really good. Now, he does got double jointed knees, but you can't bend it all the way because this fur right here gets in the way and stops that from going like all the way hitting his butt, you know? So, it is what it is, but no big deal. He's a werewolf. He should just be launching at you. And you got ankle articulation right here. And you can swivel at the ankle as well. Oh, wait, hold on. Ain't got thigh swivel. Can't forget the thigh swivel. But um, other than that, another short guy. My is with this guy. I play the RK Ultra Beast all the time at Chuck E. Cheese. So I liked the game, but planning it, you know, later in life, I grew not to like it as much because there was another game out there that I really loved. It was called Metamorphic Force, and that had to me the same concept of Ultra Beast. So if they do another Alter Beast, I hope they do something similar to that, because I know Sega got something planned for like the old school 90 games that's coming. So hopefully they do something similar to that and make it like four players. And you just play with all the different like animal form, but you start off with humans or, or whatever. And yeah, I would so love that they did that. So that is him. He has no tail. I kind of wish they made these guys with tails, but they didn't have tails in the, you know, in the, in the game. They was like man beasts, so, you know. They had the whole rise from your grave, and I guess they made them supernatural because, you know, they, they came from the graves and stuff. They were Greek gods, it was all Greek. And yeah, so, yeah, that's it. So let's get into the accessory, the one accessory. So we got this spirit ball here. It didn't come with like anything to plug in. See, you have a thing that you can plug in there, but it didn't come with one. Or I didn't see one over the packaging, so you need to find like a little thing to hold it together so you can have the ball like it's flowing down. You can do the power up. So I'm assuming they're gonna come out with more versions of this guy. They're gonna have player one and player two, I'm assuming. They should just have them come as a two-pack each. Each form, the normal form, the semi-muscular form, and then a ultra bodybuilding, like hawking form. And then that take that out the way. But again, this is also a thing that they can go all in on six inch. Because, you know, it's not a kitty game. You know, it's fun to play at Chuck E. Cheese. I know it's Chuck E. Cheese's kitty game. But it had the little green blood in there, and you like kill the monsters and stuff. You know, some people probably in Japan might want to have it red or something. 
but Jax, you can go all in. I, I know I said this in the last video, but you can do it. You can go all in. Like, man, like the next wave you do, just start doing six inch or just re, or redo it. Just redo the wave and do six inch. Or somebody, whoever out there, there's a third party. Get the Streets Race license. Get the Alter Beast, anything that's like, you know, teen related that we are adults now. Get those like make those six inch. I'll buy it up. I'll buy it up. So, yeah, that's all it comes with. Hey, no fire in effect. The thing do fire, but I guess you can use Axel's uh, accessory and make it like he's shooting like little energy balls out. But, or the little bubble he come in when he do the little the dash attack. He didn't come with that. He should have came with that too. But that probably skyrocketed the price of this like $10 figure. That probably shouldn't be $10 figure. It probably should be like $24 or $20 figure that come with like good accessories. Or heck, make it look like a deluxe and it come with like a lot of stuff from the game, like a whole bunch of references from the game. Make that like $30. You know, make that $29 or something like that. But I went on and off with one accessory because I'm very passionate about games and toys relating to my favorite games that I play. Or games that I have fond memories. I want to say favorite, but you know, fond memories that I play and, and love. But this is it. Let's get to some size comparison. Now you got the werewolf standing next to our the Kingdom Ash right there. And you got Veteran William, you know, from what the Fury Planet. So you can see how they tower and he's just the run of the litter out of them. But you can just say like, hey, he's like one of the many like henchmen wolves that come out. So you can army build these guys if you want. Just army buildings and have them coming out of the hero. But they're like, who sent all these babies to fight? Why are they so tiny, you know, you just hold their head while they try to slash you along like, look at you little guy, <laughs> you know? Let us fight man versus tiny baby man. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you can just like, you know, kick them like a big giant football. So, you, you know, you can, you, can, you can work with the size of these guys, well, for him anyway, he, he is buffer and stuff, so you can do something with him, but that's how he stands next to these guys. And now you got the werewolf standing at the L.O.Pax from the uh, lower subject line. And right there, his hands blocking right here. That's the Marvel Select Rocket Raccoon. So you can see how he's standing next to them, man. Yeah, and she's taller than him. And I feel like he should have been way taller. That's what I think anyway. On to the next. And now we got the werewolf standing next to the other you know, sacred property that Jax did. You got Axel right there. And then you got Sonic. And... As you can look at it, you can tell that, that the werewolf should be way towering over Axel and Sonic. This is why I say that they should do 6 inch with this line and keep Sonic in 4 and keep the rest of the mature characters at 6. This is exactly why. So the skeleton is all over the place. Like you couldn't even do a cross up if you wanted to because it looks so weird. But oh uh, yeah, so get on that Jax or somebody else they can get the license. Please, I will buy it. Trust me. And now we got a G.I. Joe class pack, big boy. The Marvel Legend Fang. So you can see how he's standing there. He looks like a little baby next to these guys. So you can see how they stand. And you can like, yeah, just be just as disappointed as I am staring at this myself. And I'm like, whoa, that's nuts. Well, on to the gripes. So this is another baby figure. You know, so, uh, he still had the same type of problems to me that Axel has, but he has potential. When I look at him, I'm like, you got potential, though, little guy. You got much potential. So, you can look at him as a runt character, like, you had, like, the big giant wolf, like, you had, like, veteran William. And you had, like, the, you know, when they, like, naked and stuff, it's just, like, wolf pack. He's just like, here, yeah, he's, he's the run a little but he'd be, like, most badass out of him or something like that. You can do something like that with him. Um, the figure itself, though, he's cool. It's just that some of his fluff, his fur fluff, and his leg gets in the way, so he technically is double jointed. But because the fluff gets in the way, it only feels like almost like a 90 degree angle, so he don't get the full motion of the double joint, so it's kind of like a waste. But again, he's a figure that I wish was six inches. He would have been amazing. They need to work on a torso. I hate that he can't turn the lower torso. He doesn't really have a lot of back movement, so they could do better, but I do recommend it. I do recommend the figure. It's pretty awesome, though. If you grow with Ultra B playing on Sega Genesis, or like me as a kid playing at the arcade, I say get them if you uh, haven't started feeling for them. But as a six inch collector, you look at them, I say you should pass and wait for some other company to make them six inch, or maybe a bootleg company. Ha ha ha. 
can do a six inch of the streets race and the, uh, you know, ultra beats line. And they can go with your Marvel Legends and it look be awesome. Why did I do this? I don't know. You blew it. It sucks. This ground sign out. Please leave a like and subscribe. And you earn another question of the day. Which form was your favorite form? Which I hope they also bring into the line. With the tiger, the bear. Cause you know, everybody talking about bears right now. But uh, leave it in the comment below. Till next time. Ciao. Be good.